everyone, Rebecca the Frugal Resinista here. Um, I'm going to do a quick pour today in a little tray, just um, using some colors I haven't used before, so I'm kind of excited about that. This is a um, painted, kind of a goldish color um, tray that I got from Michaels for $4.99 with a 40% off coupon. And I am going to just um, really embellish this a lot. I'm going to go through everything I've got real quick here. I'm using Tester's brand gold paint that I'm going to mix with resin and um, Americana Deco Art in berry red. I have an LA Colors nail polish that's like a really cool orange color that I'm going to mix with some of my resin. I'm going to mix some rose gold Ranger alcohol ink mixative and I'm going to do a white. I'm also using a few different kinds of these gems from um, Michaels and then I am using some vase filler that I also got from Michaels and some from the uh, Dollar General and um, I also had an old mix of some some of that mixed with some clear and I want it to be like a really gaudy section of this geode um, in the center so I haven't tried these yet before but this is more decorative filler but these are like more um, I don't know they're, they're bigger stones I don't know if there's a good way to show you they're plastic though so I haven't decided if I'm going to use them yet or just maybe stick a couple in um, they're real shiny but I don't know I'm, I'm not sold on them yet so anyway um, we're just going to do this one quick I'm going to glue a few of my stones in place over here in the corner and then I'm going to start pouring resin pretty fast I'm going to knock the extra off of this real quick and then I will move on to actually doing um, my resin pour. All right, my resin is mixed and I'm going to pour it into each of my cups. Let me see if I can get this all in view a little better. I want to make it so that you guys can see up close. Um, so this Tester's brand paint that I'm pouring this into right now is like model airplane paint. And it's only, um, it's only like $2.49 for the um, container. And I'm hoping it does what spray paint does. And it'll float higher than the other colors. Um, kind of on top of everything. I did add a tiny bit of brown to this red that I'm using. Because once I, um, once I poured the red in there, I realized how bright it was. It looked like fire engine red. And I don't want something that bright. So it's kind of half red, half brown. I haven't put the nail polish in yet because I didn't want it to start drying, but um, I'm going to put that in a second. I am using Stone Coat Countertop Quick Coat Resin. So now that I have started mixing, I've got like a 15 minute window at most to start using all this or I, um, it's just going to start getting hard. I always leave clear in my cup and I'm doing that right now because there will always be one color that I want more of or... Um, Sometimes, like, especially with this one, because this is painted gold underneath, I might um, just pour some clear in the middle of the other colors partway through just to um, kind of have some of that showing. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm also going to put some clear over this whole section that I had done. But we will get started. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am definitely pouring on my floor because I have so many projects right now going on that um, all my surfaces are covered in resin that is currently drying and a whole big mess of stuff. So um, 
nothing wrong with pouring on the floor, I guess. Makes for an interesting middle of the night pour. Okay, I'm going to let this um, sit for just a few minutes and then I'm going to take the tape off and let it finish drying. I will give you guys a close up soon too. I am super excited with the depth that is um, showing up in this between pouring um, the clear in between and um, that paint did exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. So there's spots where that paint came up to the surface. I might add a little more of that because it's super pretty. Um, but I, I just love it. And so um, I'll get the I'll get the tape off and then I'll see if I can get you guys um, a good close up once it's all dry and ready to go. OK, there it is. I'm so happy with the finished product of this close up um, that big set of stones and all the different colors. Um, I love how that gold floated to the top and some of the colors sunk. And because I had gold underneath, the actual um, plate itself was gold. My clear that I put in showed up really cool. Now see right here, this was solid gold and I put clear through it and it broke it apart. So um, yeah, I'm excited about this. These are not my typical colors, and I wasn't sure what I was going to think about it, but I really like it. So I'll get some still photos of this on display. And um, thanks for watching, you guys. As always, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram as The Frugal Resinista. Have a great day.